A number of users have had problems with the Ubuntu Docker container in GNS3, especially when using Windows. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround to solve this problem so that your Ubuntu container gets an IP address through DHCP. So in this example, I've got an Ubuntu Docker container, which I'll drag to the workspace. And I'll use a ethernet switch, which I'll run on the GNS3 VM. Now I'm using a Mac here, and I haven't had problems with this, but a lot of users have had this problem where when they right click on the Ubuntu container and uncomment these lines, the container still doesn't get an IP address through DHCP. So I'm not gonna do the change here. I'm gonna do it directly through the Docker container. So I'm gonna connect the Docker container to the ethernet switch and connect the ethernet switch to the NAT cloud. I'll start them up and open up a console. So here's the Ubuntu Docker container. It doesn't have an IP version 4 address. So as an example, I'm not able to ping google.com. Cat, etc. network interfaces shows that all lines have been commented. So as an example, this line is commented out and won't be used. So I'm gonna use nano to edit network interfaces and remove the pound or hash and then save the file. Just before I save it, notice those are the two lines that I've uncommented and I'm gonna save the file. So now when using cat, notice those two lines are uncommented. I'm gonna use the command service networking restart to restart networking. That command is not recognized here, so let's try another one. So what about network manager restart? That's also not recognized. So I'll do if down eth zero. That's also not recognized. So what I'll do at this point is turn off the container and turn it on. Now other containers may recognize these commands. So service networking restart, or service network manager restart, or if down and if up. They weren't recognized on this container, but notice by turning off the container and turning it on again, I now have an IP address allocated and I can ping google.com. So that's solved the problem on my Mac. Once again, you need to edit these lines through the console of the device. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.